Are you looking at getting some free DLC for Cyberpunk 2077? Of course you do. And if that's something that you guys want to hear a little bit more about, then this video is definitely for you guys. But anyway, before we jump into the meat and potatoes of this video, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, make sure that you guys are sharing these videos with everyone and everyone, I mean literally everyone and anyone, whoever they might be, and everywhere that you guys can, because I really want to be able to grow this channel so I can start doing some stuff for you guys, which would be absolutely fantastic. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive into some more specifics about the DLC that's coming in early 2021. So CD Projekt Red has released a teaser website specifically for Cyberpunk 2077's free DLCs, which is starting to come out and rolling out at the beginning of early 2021. Now CD Projekt Red just launched this uh, teaser website, which obviously it's dedicated to only Cyberpunk 2077's free DLC offerings, but there is no specific date as to its release. So we're gonna have to discontinuously watch that website and see when this is actually gonna be coming out. Now we don't know what the DLC is going to be had or if it's going to be more improvements or maybe it might even be features that were never included in the final game that were actually showcased in earlier E3 uh, showings is yet to be known but I think that that is going to be coming at some point in the future maybe not necessarily with the free DLCs it might be more of a paid DLC but that is something that we do have to keep in the back of our minds because I think it's coming. Now, the last word that CD Projekt read about this specific content in question surfaced thanks to a hidden message inside of a video launch prior to the game's launch right before the December 10th release date, which is pretty insane. Now, if you guys actually go back and watch that specific video, there is a very split second that you guys can actually see where it posts all of it in there and it actually talks about, you know, hey, it's the, the release is almost here, this is coming and this is coming and it actually showcased what a lot of people were maybe wondering what kind of happened with Cyberpunk 2077, but I think they had plans for that. I wish they would have made it a little bit more clear when they released this that, you know, things weren't 100% good but that is completely off topic so we're not really going to talk about that so much like the brand new site the video's message noted that players can look forward to extra content starting in 2021 now this is going to be starting with freeware and then probably moving on to payware i'm going to kind of talk a little bit about that here next so the studio has said in the past it plans to employ the same post-launch content model that it did with the witcher 3 specifically the wild hunts dlc yes. And in addition to that, it's going to have multiple free offerings eventually over time. And it stands to reason that CD Projekt Red is also honestly cooking up something on the back end, whether it's adding to the story, maybe adding to features like I mentioned earlier that uh, were taken out of the finished game that might be coming later, whatever it might be. But I think that it's, you're going to employ something that's similar with The Witcher 3, The Hearts of Stone, and Blood and Wine DLC that came out. So I can only assume, and we can only assume, that it's actually going to be the exact same thing with Cyberpunk 2077. But unfortunately, if you guys are looking for those paid DLCs, I think it's going to start surfacing after the free content begins at the beginning of next year. I'm hoping that it's like right after the new year because I can't wait to get my hands on this because I'm absolutely loving Cyberpunk 2077. I just like to explore the world. The world is absolutely amazing. Um, I think there's some things that need to be improved and I think that's where the DLCs will come along and even future patches, but we'll just continue from here. So while the studio has yet to release any specifics about Cyberpunk 2077's freebies, the teaser site is at least live so we can follow it there. Notably, the website confirms that the uh, Cyberpunk 2077's free DLC remains on track for the previous announced re early release of 2021, which is awesome. So any fan that's looking for a certain date may be disappointed to hear that this particular detail is still under... It's still in their grasp and they're not letting anybody know about it for the time being. The, the site does not include any hints whatsoever when they plan to lift the veal either it just says free dlc starts hitting night city early 2021 and it just says stay tuned for more info coming soon now at present we really don't know or have any way of really know what precisely the dlcs are actually going to contain in them or what's in store for cyberpunk 2077 
in general. However, if we do take a look at the Witcher 3's uh, 16 pieces of bonus DLC content, it can give us a little bit of an insight to what we could possibly see coming. Now, the Witcher's three last outing players received a ton of alternate costumes for all the different characters. There was extra armor, uh, specifically for the main character, alongside new hairstyles and beard sets, side quests, new game features, and finishing moves. These are just a few of the things that actually came out with the Witcher's 19 pieces of DLC. And... Um, I mean, this was this was an over, way overhyped game, so I can only assume that we're going to probably get very, very similar content to what, not similar content, but the amount of content that's coming to Cyberpunk as kind of The Witcher 3. Now, suffice to say, you know, Cyberpunk 2077 could make both similar editions. Now, I, I really think that we're probably going to get that. Like I mentioned earlier, the features that were taken out of the game could easily be employed here, like talking about the finishing moves and the new game mechanics and things like that that were added to the witcher 3 over time i think is probably going to happen with cyberpunk 2077 and all of our focus in and around night city of course the crew at cd project red doesn't only have its hands full with post-launch extras since the launch it appears that um, the major focus has been on optimizing the overall performance and experience of the game especially on the last gen consoles so cyberpunk 2077 hit the store's shelves earlier obviously we know that with the release and it was kind of in a poor state now i got lucky enough and hopefully you guys did too that you guys were able to play it on the ps5 or a pc version or even the xbox one x versions and you didn't have to have as many problems that maybe the last gen consoles had but i i it really i feel sorry for the people that really had to deal with that but that is everything that i really have for in today's episode there is a lot of stuff coming to cyberpunk 2077 make sure that you guys go ahead and try it out stay tuned to the website i will do my best to link that down in the description so you guys can go ahead and check that out and you guys can stay on track and keep up to date specifically with the teaser website dedicated to freebie only dlcs coming to cyberpunk 2077 here in early 2021 but if you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyable make sure that you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming